today we're opening every sacred beast tin ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today we are opening all three Hamon. Uriah and Raphael tins in this video. We have done this before when I opened every 2006 tin. I think it was 2006, 2007. I don't remember. We've done it before, but this time we're opening specifically the Sacred Beast tins. They're super fun to open, and hopefully the promos are minty. But before we do that, the giveaway. I'll be giving away 24 more packs of Tactical Masters. Yeah, we had a lot more of these packs, so be giving those away. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite Sacred Beast or favorite card we pull. All right, let's start it off. I think we're going to start off with the Hamon tin. I don't remember exactly what is in these i remember there's like wave one and wave two this is a second launch the first launch i think ravael is maybe the first launch this is the second i think the first launch is better because that's two crv packs these are pretty expensive tens so this is like a probably like a 900 to a thousand dollar opening somewhere in that range so you know a little expensive but if we can get some of these promos nice that would help get some of our money back so let's see if we can do that let's open this thing up come on let's pull a minty psa 10 i'm on okay this is not easy to get out okay yeah there we go all right, finally got it off. That was difficult. Let's see how the promo looks. I want to be really careful. Don't want to damage anything. Is there any bins? It's a little bit warped like this, but that's okay. That's pretty normal. Back, there might be like a line there. I can't... You know, maybe not, actually. This card's super clean. How's the centering? Oh, it's off, unfortunately. It's still pretty nice. I might still grade this, try and get a nine. I think you could probably get that. Unfortunately, the centering is off, but really minty promo. Looks great overall. All right, we have CRV, Elemental Energy. We have Shadow of Infinity, Enemy of Justice, and Power of the Duelist. We opened a bunch of these, so let's start off with like Power of the Duelist. We opened a bunch of this recently, actually. Had some really good luck, so let's see if we can continue it here and pull an Ultimate Rare. Can we do it? GX, let me know in the comments. How do you feel about GX packs? Are you a big fan? Do you think they're boring? Do you think they're old, like too, not they're, they're old. Well, they are old. Do you think? I don't know. Just give me your opinion on GX. You think they're awesome? Bye, Lon. Let's go. Destiny Mirage. Destiny Hero Blade Master. D Spirit. Flying Saucer Musical. Baby Sarasaurus. Beautiful card. Chrysalis Dolphin. And we have Cyber Summon Blaster. With a shifted name. Interesting. A Cyber Summon Blaster. Okay. Cool card. We'll take it. Next up, Enemy of Justice. Can we get any good pulls out of these? These are pretty difficult to get good pulls because you have to get like an ulti pretty much. There's some ultras, but as I've said many times on this channel, ultras in the original GX packs are actually harder to pull than ulties, which is pretty wild. All right. We have Destiny Signal. Let's see if we can pull the Elemental Kuro, Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Let's do it. Cyber 2 2. Grand Convergence. Our Righteous Justice. O over Soul. We've got the Guard Dog. D shield, very nice. Swift Birdman Joe, a classic. And we have Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. All right, Baby Dragon. I once had a PSA 10 Ultimate Rare First Edition of that, which was pretty cool. Three packs to go. Let's go uh, Shadow of Infinity. Can we break the curse of the Sacred Beast? That's, so that's kind of the idea here, you know? We're pulling the Sacred Beast Secrets. Maybe that'll break the curse of pulling one out of Shadow of Infinity. Let's see if we can do it. We have never pulled one. Three out of the four Ultra Rares in the set are a Sacred Beast, and I have still never pulled one. I've pulled the Cyber Laser Dragon like four times. So I've pulled the fourth one that's not a Sacred Beast four times. Death's Rock. Ancient Gear Factory. Rocks and Special with the Sand Moth. Symbol of Heritage. Ancient Gear. Tinkabido Shein. And Treeborn Frog. That would be such a cool ulti if we pulled it. That would be really amazing. One of the best absolute retail ultis, even, like in general, but especially in this set. Two packs to go. Let's go Elemental Energy. Can we pull um what? Isn't there a pod card in here? It's the, the one from the you return five cards to the graveyard. What's it called? And you get to draw two from the graveyard to the deck. Pot of something i can't remember what it is but it's a super in here we have feather wind boss rush nice blade skitter chthonian palmer at it again oxy get on all right where's the hydro get on very nice non-fusion area neither player can fusion summon interesting level modulation familiar possessed area okay and we have the Jax Knight, another one that would be cool as an ulti, Jax Knight. So far, are we just raring it out right now? Raring it up, raring it out. We have Cybernetic Revolution. Can you break the streak? Cyber Dragon, Cyber End Dragon, Ultimate Bubble Man. You know, there's some really cool stuff we could get in here. Let's see if we can do it now. Mad Lobster, the lobster is mad. Let's go. <sighs> Let's pull something. Drill Roid, very cool card, actually. Cyber Archfiend, Pat Roid, okay. Prepare to strike back. That's the goblin attack force. One just woke up. He had his, you know, bed, bed clothes on with it. Who wears a night cap though? Do people still do that? Like, was that ever a thing or is that just in movies? I don't know. Mad Lobster, there he is. Okay, what does this say? A gourmet food renowned by the dark world upper crust. 
Uh, okay, it has sensational flavor. A gourmet food renowned by the Dark World Upper Crust. What's the Dark World Upper Crust? <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. Tyranno Infinity. Okay, a classic. Giant Kozaki. Is it the next one? Gyroid. Is it the next one? I think it is the next one. Magical Explosion. So we are now over five on that first in. We fortunately had a minty promo, but uh, we're just going to have to keep going. I think this was launch one. Yeah, so we're going to get two CRV in the Raviel tin. Unfortunately, with my setup, you can't like see it unless I go like this to see the whole thing because it's like, oh, whoop, cut off his head, cut off his legs, you know. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. Let me just pull this out. Oh, centering looks a lot better, I would say. Let's see. We have, it's still, okay, it's, it's still pretty off. It's still a little off actually, but it's not too bad. There might be something going on up here. These cards have like weird, like slight dents, if you can see that. Yeah, that's probably gonna hurt it, but still. Beautiful secret rare. It's kind of like the God cards though, where you can't see all the rarity that much because like the artwork is so big. It takes up a lot of the artwork. So still pretty nice looking though. We'll take it Ravael, Lord of Phantasms. Now we have our pocket guide, which will guide us from our pockets. We have a new power launches, power of the duelist with the elemental uh, Neos 10, which is really cool with the secret rare. Level up, we've got all kinds of cool stuff like the structure decks. We just came out with Cyber Dark Impact, one of the best sets of all time, amazing. Okay, I'm just kind of kidding, but it's actually not that bad. All right, five packs, two CRV, one EEN. We've got the SOI first edition. That's the cool part about wave one. They have European first edition packs, which is pretty cool. And then enemy of justice. So it just kicks out power of the duels, which is no big deal. All right, enemy of justice. It is your time. Let's do this. Destiny signal. Majestic Mech Senku. Celestial transformation. Destiny hero doom lord. Avalanche and awesome. Elemental recharge. Layar and the liberator. Destiny hero, Captain Tenacious. And finally, we have a hero flash. We recently pulled this in ulti, so we are now 0 for 6, though. Can we finally, if we go 0 for 15, that would be pretty sad. Let's go uh, Elemental Energy, because these SOIs first edition, so we probably have to save that for last, because that could potentially be insane. Like, Treemorn Frog first edition ulti, can you imagine that? Like, $250 card, I think, so pretty big deal. Let's see if we can pull something real big here. Nano Breaker. The League of Uniform Nomenclature. They're like doing the Joey Wheeler, Taya, and like the thing where they put all their hands in, except it's the creepy Ojama Yellows. Familiar Possessida. Oh, it's, oh, it's a, a Toil Cyber Level Modulation. Oxygenon. Familiar Possessed Area. And we have, I think it's the next one. VW Tiger Catapult. All right, nice. And Brow Huntsman of Dark World. Another cool ulti. There's so many cool GX ultis in retail. They're not huge value, but they're really, really nice. All right, Cybernetic Revolution. I want to pull Cyber and Dragon. I don't think we've ever pulled that even in Unlimited or just Ultra or whatever. This could be the first time we do it. We have Spiritual Water Art AoE. Drilleroid back at it again. Cyber Archfiend. Ebon Magician Karan. I'd take Bubble Man uh, Unlimited ulti though. Poison Draw Frog, Spiritual Wind Art Miyabi, Fusion Recovery. The Doitsu, he's, is he writing something or what? What is he doing? Oh, he's eating. Is that like a sushi box? What is that? All right, and then we finally have the same rare, Magical Explosion. All right, okay, we get it. 0 for 8. Is this going to be as bad as when we were like 2 for 30 on 610s? I don't know. It could be. What was that? The uh, 2003 10 opening? We did pull blue eyes in the last pack. So if we pull something like that quality at the end, I'd be down. I'd be down to do that bad. We have Soitsu. Here he is. Apparently totally unreliable. He wonders if he has incredible potential. Apparently totally unreliable. He's apparently totally unreliable. Conscription. Steam Gyroid. Pot of Generosity. Spiritual Fire Ride Kumanai. Steamroid. All right. Pretty decent card, actually. Des Frog. And is it next? No, I think it's the next one. Arrival appears. And our first foil is a Cyber Twin Dragon. Let's go. Cyber Twin from Cybernetic Revolution. That is beautiful. Should we grade it unlimited? Maybe we will. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool to get a PSA 10. Cyber Twin Dragon. That is awesome. I love it. Very nice Cyber Twin. A pretty epic card. We have finally pulled our first foil, but now we have a first edition Shadow of Infinity pack. European. Let's go. I believe it's European. So if it's European, I think that means we have a chance at like any of the ultis or something. Can we pull a big ulti? Grass fan. If we pulled a Sacred Beast ulti, I would like pass out. It'd be insane. Bill's Frog. Sam Sarah. That's like next level of the pulls. That's like really, really hard. Shaw of the Princesses. Hero Heart. Aditi Guy. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good card. Tinkabidocian. 
Ancient Gear Cannon. And here's the final card. We're getting our hopes up for a little bit of first edition action. We have an ultimate rare first edition Divine Dragon Excellion. This is a super rare. So it does work differently with the European packs. So we just pulled what would be a hobby ulti if it was a North American pack out of one pack, which I always seem to pull this guy. He's not great or valuable, but he looks really cool. Also, look at the foiling on this. It looks so clean. It's like super nice. That's a huge pull. All right, so we started out 0 for 8, but we just hit back to back and one being a first edition ulti, which is so cool. That is a huge hit. Might want to send that one in. It looks pretty clean on the back. All right, that definitely helped the video. That is super hype. First edition hobby ulti. We have Uriah. What is he called? Lord of Searing Flames. I always want to say Lord of Phantasms for him too, for some reason. All right, let's open this up. Our final 10. This is, I believe, a wave two, so we're not going to get the first edition pack in it, unfortunately. All right, we got it out. That's, like, once again, not easy to do. I think this one's off center as well. A little bit off center. Not really not that bad, though. A little bit off center, though. Um, back appears to be pretty nice. This is probably the best chance at a 10. Still definitely not great centering. It would have to be like borderline, borderline at the best to actually make it. Still amazing, though. We will take that. Great condition on the promos, though, overall. Yeah, centering overall. On the promos kind of did us in, but still not too bad. Pretty solid. Let's start with the Enemy of Justice pack. Will it be an ultimate rare? We've already pulled one, which is pretty awesome. We have the Destiny Hero Doom Lord, Misfortune, Battle for Artemis, Search Lightman, Ligard the Liberator, Blazing Hita, Royal Knight with a little crimp action going there. Okay, it's like a sideways too. Really weird. Power Capsule. And a guard penalty. All right, that kind of snuck up on me. Guard penalty. All right, no big deal. Nothing too crazy there, but that's okay. We got four packs to go. So far, we're two for 11. Not great in terms of the numbers, but we have pulled an ultimate rare out of the one first edition pack. So that is a plus. We are now opening up. What is this? Power of the Duelist, one of our favorite sets. Ambulance Roy. There's a lot of good retail oldies in here we could pull. I would take any of them. Common Soul, even that trap card. Blade Master, Alien Hunter, Alien Gray, Vehicle Connection Zone. Fossil Excavation, Baby Sarasaurus, it might be next. Let's see. Oh, that would be such a sick ulti. Overload Fusion, I would go crazy. That would be an awesome one. Three packs to go. I think we go with SOI because it is not first edition anymore. Let's go. Hero Heart, the heart of the hero. Hero Kid, the kid of the hero. Ruxin Special, the Ruxin of, okay. <laughs> ant Eater Eating Ant, very nice. Elemental Hero, Neo Bubble Man, is that a sign? Goki Pong, Sam Sarah. Chain Thrasher, Generation Shift, and Malfunction. Two packs to go. CRV, EEN, let's go EEN, come on. We have Zur, Knight of Dark World, Familiar Possess, Alsa, Nano Breaker, Featherwind, W Wing Catapult, Elemental Hero, Wildheart, an iconic and awesome card, cannot be affected, or he's unaffected by traps. Forces of Darkness, Familiar Possess, win. And finally, will it be something epic? Chthonian Soldier. The answer is no. And the final pack. So far, come on, no foils. Uriah, no foil. So they, they really got to step up here because Ravael is kind of dominating. Let's see. Will there be a foil in this final CRV pack? We already pulled a Cyber Twin out of the Ravael pack. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Can we get something big? An ultimate rare. You know, a Cyber Dragon would be awesome. Cy Cybernetic Cyclopean. I keep messing up the first one. Shen Spy. Tadpole. Prepare to strike back. Psychroid. Poison Draw Frog. Spiritual Wind Art. Miyabi. Fusion Recovery. And finally, what will it be? The final card of the Every Sacred Beast 10 opening. Believe in the heart of the cards. Here we go. Ultimate Rare Bubble Shuffle. So we didn't get the bubble, man, but we got the shuffle of the bubble. We will take it. This is a very beautiful card. While it isn't super valuable, it is very beautiful. Just check it out. Such a nice looking ultimate rare. We will take that beautiful bubble shovel. So three out of 15, not great in terms of percentages, but two ultimate rares and a cyber twin super rare. Pretty quality in terms of the actual foils. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. And make sure to check out my new series where I am quizzing YouTubers on Yu-Gi-Oh card prices. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.